April 2016. And I'm sorry, did you say you were 100% certain of that? Ms. Hall, could you answer my question? Yes, she did go back to um, Amber and Johnny's at different points that she was still living with me during that time. The question I asked because you were talking at the same time Ms. Vasquez was, was giving an objection was I believe that you said you were 100% certain of those dates. Is that correct? Same yeah. with me. All right. Oh, you previously testified that you were the CEO for Art of Elysium. Is that correct? That is correct. And are you still currently in that position? Yes, I am. And how long have you been the CEO for Art of Elysium? I am the founder of the organization. So um, we did our first workshop in August of 1997, filed the legal paperwork in February of 98 to set up a 501c3. So I guess since the beginning of the charity. Ms. Howell, when did you first meet Amber Heard? At the Pineapple Express premiere is where I met she and her sister, Whitney. Do you remember approximately what year that was? I believe it was around 2008. I'm sure that could be pulled. It was the LA premiere. I think there was probably multiple premieres, but it was the Los Angeles premiere of Pineapple Express. Was Ms. Heard there with Mr. Depp? No, this was long before. Um, I was a guest of James Franco and Amber was in the movie. And so I met she and her sister at the, I mean, to be specific at the after party of the premiere. Did Ms. Enriquez end up working for Art of Elysium at some point? Yes, she did. What year did Ms. Enriquez begin working with Art of Elysium? I believe it was in 2014. I don't have those documents right in front of me. Um, I believe it was leading into the year Amber was receiving the award. And what was Ms. Enriquez's position at Art of Elysium? Art Salon Manager, Director. Does Ms. Enriquez still work for Art of Elysium? No. When did that end? Oh, 2015, I believe. Each time you saw Mr. Depp, did you ever see him doing any illicit illegal drugs? Never. Did you ever see him consuming excessive amounts of alcohol? Never. Never. Did you ever see Mr. Depp appear intoxicated? No. Did Ms. Heard ever show you photographs of depicting injuries on her face or body? No. Did Ms. Heard ever tell you that Mr. Depp was abusive towards her? No. Mr. Depp paying your legal fees, Ms. Howell, for this deposition and the testimony you've provided in the UK action? He is not. Who is? Myself. Do you feel any particular sense of loyalty towards Mr. Depp? None at all. Do you feel any sense of loyalty towards Ms. Heard? None at all. Ms. Howell, do you recognize this check as the check that the Art of Elysium received on behalf of Ms. Heard for a donation, an anonymous donation of $250,000? Yes. Yes. I believe you testified previously that you understood that the anonymous donor was Elon Musk. Is that true? Yes. If I could please have Exhibit 4 brought up. And for the record, it's based on JH 
22 through 29. Do you recognize this document, Ms. Howell? And if you need to scroll through the eight pages, feel free. Um, can you scroll down? Yeah, I recognize that. And what is this? That is an email, I believe, I sent to Whitney. Scrolling up to the first page of this attachment, who is Marcel? Pariso? Sure, Pariso. He is, he is one of my oldest friends in Los Angeles who has served as a board member of the Art of Elysium and is one of my biggest confidants here in LA, kind of for the course of my career. And going down to the third page of this exhibit. Thank you. This is an email, Ms. Howell, that you sent to Whitney Henriquez on or about Tuesday, July 28th, 2020 at 11.20, excuse me, at 11.02 a.m. It is. This is a true and accurate copy of an email exchange that you sent to Ms. Henriquez? Yes, I believe I'm the one who gave that. Yes, it is. And then did you forward email exchange and the attachments to Marcel Parasau? Yeah, I asked him to keep it for me. Why did you send this email and letter to Ms. Enriquez? Because I've struggled very much with what to do in a situation that I love someone who I know is doing something very wrong and I know that they're doing it because they're trying to protect their sister and I'm trying to protect her and I'm just trying to get her to wake up and do the right thing, which is tell the truth. It's the only thing that can help everybody involved in this case. Ms. Howell, do you recall submitting a witness statement in the United Kingdom? Yeah, they basically just called to verify the witness statement that was submitted previously. And do you recognize this document to be the witness statement and the declaration that you submitted in the UK? And if you want to scroll down to look at it. Yes, I recognize it. And at the first page, do you see a date on this document? January 13th, 2021. And is this document a true and accurate copy of the declaration that you submitted in the UK proceeding on or about January 13th, 2021? Yes. And are all the statements in your UK declaration accurate and true? I mean, yes, I signed it, yes. All right, let's pull up what I believe was DEP Exhibit 9. It's been marked as DEP Exhibit 9. Exhibit nine. So Ms. Howell, earlier you were shown this document, um, scrolling to the end of it. Can you go, I don't, okay. There. Mm -hmm. 
did Mr. Waldman assist you in drafting this email? Absolutely not. Did you speak with Mr. Waldman at all about drafting this email? About writing an email? No, I did that on my own accord. Did you speak with Mr. Waldman at all about contacting the ACLU? I do not recall having a conversation with him about that. And Ms. Howell, you testified earlier that you received a check from Fidelity Charitable in January of 2018, is that correct? Um, I don't know if I said the date, but yes, I received an anonymous donation from that check that was submitted. Whatever it's on there, I just don't know the date off the top of my head. And you testified that there was a letter sent along with that um, that said that uh, it was on in honor of Amber Heard. Yes, Richard, I was guaranteed 20 minutes with them after being attacked for three and a half hours by your side the last time. So I am gonna stick by what I was told before entering this and what your side agreed to. All right, your next witness. Uh, your Honor, Mr. Depp calls Candy Davidson Goldbron, who is.